Looks like a balloon. Yeah. Uh, this is the start of week two. Week two of Achilles injury has begun today. There we go. <sighs> so vacation is over. I'm now back home. Came to see the specialist who I've seen before for another issue that I had with my knee. But he's gonna let us know what's going on with the ankle. We got it all unwrapped. Um, I don't know, I just want to ask some questions, see what my options are, see what the heck is up, and hopefully I don't have to find out that I'm not walking for six months. That's the goal. So this is uh, a little different than I thought. Um, the doctor, again, he knows me, so he's keeping it 100% real, which is just what I wanted. He gave me three options, just based off of my tear. It is a full tear, but the tear, um, the two pieces are fairly close. It's not like gone all the way up to my calf, which is really, really good. So I could have the one option would be the surgery to cut it all the way open, suture them together, or there's a minimally invasive option where it's like a little tiny hole, puts this little piece in that kind of separates with sutures on each end and it pulls them in and ties them, or I could not have surgery which I kind of did not want to have surgery, but he's saying that because they're so close, um, as long as I am torqued down, my, my ankle is pushed down, the, t the tendons will come together at some point and heal themselves. So like I'm about to go into a cast right now, right now, because he's like, it's already been 10 days, you need to do this right now. So I'm going to a cast right now with my foot pushed all the way down so that the Achilles can then touch each other and heal itself and he said that that's only eight weeks so eight weeks i'll be non-weight bearing still using my ride you know and then then we start the therapy then we start walking and i go into a boot but that's really 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 good news because i i thought that this was going to be like seven months of me not walking um and he said there's only a 4% chance of a re-rupture with me not going with surgery. So I think that that's what I'm gonna do. So we're hosting a uh, bridal shower party at the house amongst you know all the things I told you I could not have happen right now. So I was supposed to be doing so many things for the house, finishing the floors. I have curtain rods I've been hanging. Party starts in about, 30 minutes. Everybody else is too short to do it. So I'm gonna take this risk and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it. People are starting to show up now. I'm late. Let's do this. Twenty minutes later. So, I only got one in, and I'm sweating. This has to be the worst part of this whole injury. I'm completely handicapped and sitting here waiting, hand and foot, for everybody to do everything for me. Party downstairs. I can't even get my clothes, so I gotta sit here like a an infant, with, waiting for my clothes to be brought up. I appreciate you.
to a bachelorette party didn't end until around 3, 4 o'clock. Um, but I'm still responsible for making coffee and taking the dogs out on the weekends for everybody. <laughs> It took me 40 minutes to film that scene. Her coffee was cold. I got yelled at, she didn't appreciate the whole process, but we're in, uh, at this point of the, the recovery stage, don't nobody care that I'm hurt now. You know, I still have responsibilities, you know. I still gotta get the coffee. I still gotta take the dogs out on the weekend. Nobody's gonna do it. My boys wanna go out, they don't care. Thursday night, still date night, and she don't want to go to a handicap accessible location. So I used to take the dogs out, like physically go out there with them um, because there's a pond back there and I don't have a fence. And one of the dogs hates birds and he will just take off whatever command I give him. He just completely disobeys. But um, ain't no point in me going out there now because it's not like I'm chasing him. I ain't going nowhere. So I just open the door and let him go. Pray for the best. If they go, hope they come back. Don't nobody care that, you know, I'm crippled and can't go anywhere, can't walk. Got it. Ah! <laughs> Fine. Uh, my weekend responsibilities also include pancakes. So, I'm known for the chocolate chip pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes for the kids, corned beef hash for the ladies. She normally gets regular eggs for her um, corned beef hash, huh? but since she's been cheating, we've been cheating, today she gets egg whites. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm pretty sure she's gonna yell at me when she figures out that it's egg whites and not regular eggs. Uh -uh. Let's see. Shit. Hey Google, broadcast to the master bedroom. What's the message? Chunky butt, it's time to eat. Come downstairs, because I cannot come back upstairs with this. Okay, broadcasting to master bedroom. Oh, she hates when I leave a mess after I cook. I mean, it's really hard for me to cook and clean and put everything up in the trash and stuff, so. Hi, she hates it, so. In the microwave. Hey, what's up? I'm handicapped. Babe, it doesn't matter. It's hard for me to put all this stuff up and cook it. But why is there food all over the back of the wall? Because it popped. It popped <laughs> on me. What kind of egg is this? Egg whites? Egg whites. <laughs> they don't make their face for egg whites. I hate egg whites. What are you complaining about? Huh? Okay. What are you complaining about? Cleaning because they're crippled. Yes, <laughs> yeah, but I just made an amazing breakfast. Okay. It was good, wasn't this, it? Let me end in this, and this is what I'm stuck with. What the? I think I'd rather starve than clean this. Oh, really? No, I'm not, I'm not cooking anymore. It's fine. You can cook. Oh, really? I'm not cooking anymore either. Noted.